So I, I thought that maybe because we're running out of stuff to do in this first zone and that maybe they were gonna phase out coins entirely and replace it with new types of progression because it was getting really common for me to find new items just lying around more so than finding more coins. But no, that next area is full of coins. So coins are gonna still be a thing. So I'm guessing that if nothing else, when I get to the uh, blue village, maybe you can buy stuff there. Because we need something to do with all this money. What have I accomplished? What did I do? Ah. Damn. Okay. Oh, I forgot that's the one that takes me here. Hi! How do I get there? Can I cancel this? Cancel! Nope. Hmm. Can y'all go away? I know that you want to, like, ramp up over time, but I got things to do. Not exactly going to catapult me up there. I need a fast way of getting up there, but also a way to shoot this. Or I just need to put my block up there, I guess. Oh yeah, that will kill me. Minor detail. That will kill me dead. Hope that block goes somewhere cool. I did it. Where are you going? Cool, I guess, but what do I do with that? I'm so fucking sly that I'm like back strafing and eating apples and off of cactuses in the process. Is there a chest up there? Or is there genuinely a way for me to get there? Maybe I need him to shoot there. Cause I- yeah, the glass is gonna be a problem. It's an impenetrable first field. Sort of a chance to make double damage. Current percent chance is five. Huh. A little late to report the secret area. Oh, it was accessible the whole time via just crouching through here. Oh. <laughs> or maybe it opened up in some way after I found it. That. That shot me way higher than expected. But I put my block there. My block was or no, you were already there. Yeah, there is a chest up there, so I do want to go there, but I shot super far instead. Are you too strong? Is that the problem? Oh, maybe I need to temper the weight with this. No, stop. No. Yeah. Nope. There's no physics in that jump. That jump was 100% a scripted arc. 
that you always follow. It's, it's not physics based. So I can't do anything about that. So that seems to be the outcome you get when you shoot one of these. Is it goes so hard that it must lead to that thing pushing harder and taking me somewhere else. While also having a very satisfying sound when you do it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go check out the stuff around here that I, I know needs guns. Or damage plus three. Now I can carry stuff again. That's not it. Neat. Plus five health regen. Now when my health is ever below that amount, it goes up. I think we're at like 15 or something. That must be the alternate way to open it, if, you, if I somehow get here earlier or something. If there is a different way in. Hmm. This place is super open. This feels like a combat arena. It lacks any details or collectibles and rubble and NPCs and coins. So it seems like a big open area where you'd send enemies at me. Oh, it tells me the damage of my cube. It just straight up says 12 damage sword, 15 damage blaster, which I knew. But then it says 90 damage on my on my cube. That must be the internal explodey damage if you put it inside them. I'm gonna put my cube in you. You're probably an enemy, die! Okay, I'm just wasting ammo, I guess. Are you a portal? Okay, it's definitely combat music. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, ow, stop that. It's a tower defense. What? They're hard to shoot when they're not running straight at you. When they run at you, they're easy to hit. But when they run any other direction, you start realizing, oh, it's kind of... It's actually a little hard to aim in this game, isn't it? Ow. Okay. And there's my first death. That's hard and maybe even a little janky. Huh. Am I going the right way? I got turned around. Alright, so little disadvantaged in that I didn't even know what was happening at first, but okay. I have some idea what's happening now. They come out of that door, I guess. And they split up along these lanes. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try it one more time. But if, if, if it doesn't work out, I'll look around more and see if you ever unlock the ability to make a turret. Because this is definitely a tower defense level. So I would expect to be able to place a turret or something, to, or some kind of trap to fight them with. I don't have a lot to work with right now. All I have is a smacky sword and a gun, which isn't very useful in this, as far as I can tell. I can do some pop pot shots in the opening, but it's actually really hard to aim that reliably. Oh god. I didn't see them. Oh, oh god, I don't have any sort of map to tell what, what, what's, what's, what's coming my way. Wow, I'm already- I did worse. Now that I know what, what's happening, I did worse than last time when I was just standing there doing nothing. 
as they snuck by. Where's their health bars? I unlocked the C health bars upgrade. Stop! This is unplayable. <laughs> what in the world? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna hope that there's some kind of mechanic I don't have yet that makes this reasonable. Because looking at the tools I have right now, this is like... The first hint of potentially not great content in this game is, like, this situation I'm in right now, where I'm like, what the fuck do you want from me? But also, like, yeah, the way they just run for it. I don't know. It's gotta be that I just don't have something that I can use in this situation. Because, like, nobody would put you in a tower defense situation that's clearly a tower defense, and all you can do is run around as a melee dude and try to smack everybody as they sprint for the goal in a straight line. You gotta be able to, like, make walls. Or... Towers and turrets or something. Because this isn't much. That's... Not really gonna do anything. And my gun... Is not gonna do a lot for me either, actually. Alright. We'll see about that. Nine. Yes. I've already been in here. Yeah, that's that's another one of those weird blocks. Maybe they just are strangely there, and that's it. That's all they do. Nah, whatever this is requires blue power. I must get some kind Oh yeah, I must go to the blue area and get a blue power. That lets me do that. Because stuff gets, tends to be color-coded. Stuff you can use my cube on tends to be purple. The fusion of red and blue. <gasps> Sacrilege. <laughs> Why does I have a blue side anyway? At least the red part's much bigger. Some very... ingrained racism in this neighborhood. Do I need 80 health? I don't know. Was this my house? I think it was. All right, those. Oh, right, we sleep on erasers, right? Yeah, there's one more. There's one more barrel somewhere. I need to find that barrel. But at least I've spent my money. At least that now that I spent my money, I can now pick up coins again. There's coins up there still. It's a lot of travel time. I have so much mobility these days that this whole first zone is like broken. Were there barrels in the second zone? I don't remember. But I want that chest and also there's coins on top of that roof. There's coins up there that somehow you get to. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't go high enough. And triple jumps do not take me that high. But, I don't know. Maybe it isn't like bonus speed. Maybe that just is the one place that this takes you, is that one secret. Maybe. Wait. It was over here. This is a secret I found at like the beginning of episode two. And now I've got the jumps. I've got the mad hops. Boom. Another sword crit. Now I've got 10% crit.
I do, of course, wonder if there's anywhere else I've seen this. Th oh, yeah, we need to figure out how to get through glass. Or there's just some other way to get there. Hmm. What could I be missing? I don't know. We'll just keep poking around. Stop it! Thankfully, there is ample healing. Yeah, these guys have health. Why doesn't the, why don't the ones in the in the tower defense seg segment have health bars? That is weird. I think that that crit that I flew through the air to get to it probably was unfindable until then. Because otherwise, it would have been really unsatisfying if I did that really cool bounce trick, only to find that I get nothing for it. That'd be deeply disappointing. So that, that it probably just had a, something that was blocking access to that, that went away the moment I found it from behind. Or something. Anyway. Let's risk death, isn't that fun? Getting a little blurry. A little depth of fieldy. Like the game doesn't know what to do with the current perspective or something. Okay, it's creepy in here. Okay, it's creepy in here. I'm gonna die. Totally gonna find a way to die in here. How many paths could there be through here? They could, they could have they could hit, they could hide so many secrets in that darkness. I wonder if I can light the place up. Hello, torch. You all right there, Link? He's even. Is he? Yep, he's dressed like Link. He's got the sword and he's got a a glowing a glowing. Uh, Butterfly that we can only assume is Navi. I took his hat. It's mine. A poor adventure kid died while fighting it out with something that looks like a butterfly. You take a silly green hat. All fallen hero souvenirs are stored in your home. Oh. So you can find various heroes that are references to other games. And then you use you take their stuff and put them in your house as trophies. Plus three. Ho. Oh. That's a good find. That'll help with the de the combat stuff if it comes up more. And there we have an exit. Have I found this place before? Whoa. That took me back to the intro. I didn't mean to fall down like that though. They have more secrets waiting for me in the intro. Sword damage plus three again. Holy crap. Alright. That's a good find. Hello. Ooh. Get out of here. Alright, that's not... <laughs> that's a new physics interaction for me. They've never quite worked that way before. Oh, many coin. Excess of coin. One of them fell, so I gotta go back. Damn. Please just fall. You're, you're kind of in the way. Eh, yeah, you're kind of a ramp. Not useful. Go away. Please don't crash the game. There we go. Your jump is very weak, so 
you desperately want to triple jump. And it's a very much more of a, oh, there's another coin down there I missed. Damn it. I got to do the whole thing again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another reason to come back here again whenever we figure out how to get past that. Already done that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's where that was going to go. Huh. Ah! Does that mean I could have gone here, found this box, beaten this out of the way with a sword, come over here, got this, beat this out of the way with a sword, and already been doing, like, advanced secrets in the goddamn tutorial? Because that's surprising. But that's what this game does, is surprise. That's totally a way I could have done that from the top down, huh? Now I'm curious. Okay, calm down. I don't think we can do a lot with that. You really can just hold down F to have a flashlight and keep playing the game as much as you want. That's interesting. That'll take me back to Red Village through the... I believe normal intended path? I mean, I think... or... More specifically, I would say that's probably the... I think that's where we came in. Let's do one last sweep. Also, let's maybe look at that again. Come on. That might not be helping me much. Sounds like it's freaking out a little bit. There we go. I didn't want to be done with here yet. Oh, but I am. Damn it. Yep. Gotta go back in the original way, if I want to look around more. Yeah, this was the where they were te they were teaching me how to con how to fucking crawl for the first time here, and for all, and little did I know there's a secret. Yep, you can jump on that little thing to go up up here, and go all the way across here. Yeah, unless I'm mistaken, you could have gotten these massive sword upgrades immediately. Not like. That really changes a whole lot, but you know, getting fun little upgrades just for the sake of it is basically the point. Oh, I've never done this before either. Because you needed, you wanted to have a light in order to navigate that. You could have done it blind technically, but it wouldn't be great. That's another thing that I get for coming back. So when I, when I played the tutorial, I must have gone back the way I came to leave. Or was it the blues? I think I might have seen the blues uh, sabotaging the plumbing. I think that's what happens. I saw the blues sabotaging the plumbing. And then it kicked me out. It probably teleported me out. These are creepy, by the way. This, like, suggests the origins of what we are. I guess we're we are all, like... It looks like we're all people made out of erasers that are like, that are like clipped up like this. He, he cut people out of erasers and that's how he got his entire civilization of little stand-up toys. Seems to be the basis of the game. We have... I, I'm amused by the fact that we get context even for that. There's so many little details in this game. It's lovingly crafted and all that. Hello, everybody. The king is dead. Long live the king. Anyway, back to being above ground. Temporarily. Before I jump right back in. Uh, what do I want to do? 
But where is it, though? I don't know where it is. There might not be anything, but also, heh. I died. Well, that's unfortunate. We went from zero deaths to three deaths. I don't know how I messed that up. No? Okay. Clearly, I should just do this. There we go. <laughs> Admittedly, when I first found this, it might have required more f careful exploring because I did probably I might have not had a triple jump yet. Nah, it looks like there's nothing else here. The, the paths I didn't take look like they dead end immediately. So I, I pretty much nailed the maze on the, on the first try by going like the exact right way. But you probably had to do it on foot more than I did the first time around because you probably had to, uh, you probably had less mobility than I did than I do now. There we go. Let's head on back. No more secrets to be found here, except for all the ones that I've missed that you may or may not already know about. But that's not what I mean. Hello. Every time. Where is my home? Let's find my home. Is this my home? Yeah, because you walk out into the bad news situation. So where's my... there it is. My first collectible. And it's... ah, you can reread re the description. Including it explaining that souvenirs are kept in your house. Does my home have secrets? The secret is how long that candle's able to keep burning. Oh, what if, the, what if one of these bar... <gasps> that would be clever. What if, like, what if there was a barrel in my home that was a gold barrel? And I just didn't know to recognize it because it was hanging out in my house at the beginning of the game. Before I even knew to, like, wonder about those yet. And who would go back? Could be anywhere. Could be hiding in one of these things. Nine. 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 I still can't lift these, right? I need to get some sort of new upgrade, and that's not the one. And I can't spawn a block under it to make it go flying out. And I don't remember any more things to shoot around here. Yep, yeah, so I'll come back when I figure out what that is. Or if I think I can take out the tower defense, or if I get a barrel. Barrel. This is satisfying. At long last, Blueville is almost there. I'll go back for all the other stuff in a minute, but I want to go forward to Blueville if I can. I'd like to find. I'd like to establish another place to spend money if I can. I lost her. <laughs> She's immediately gone. Is she gonna loop all the way around? There we go. <laughs> Wonder where that leads to. Huh. Let's uh let's go straight to the objective this time instead of wandering around. And I'll backtrack afterwards to explore. So how long did it take him to build that so-called sandbox? Six hours. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> the world building. Ooh, crystal path. What's over here? 
I hope the gate is stable enough to keep re uh, keep Rattlehag contained. Oh. Rattlehag. Wait, is it a baby? Get the MacGuffin for the, from the blue crystal. We can't get in yet, darling. You need to get the two MacGuffins from the blue and purple crystal. Then return to me. So that one. And then something else, I guess? Be gone with you, foul fiend. A blue and purple crystal. Ah. I have to go down these two paths. Purple, blue. Gotcha. Where do I spend my money in this game? But Is that's what I'm controlling? Thought it was something to do with that stuff. I guess that must radio control this thing to go up and down. Yeah, that's definitely me. <gasps> A battery! Kill it! <laughs> oh, it's back. Well, you go somewhere. Oh, can't really... J eh. Yeah, you can't jump when you're holding this. Hmm. I've got to figure out where you go. Got new context now. That is the world's tiniest rainbow. And they've got the gold nuggets again. Where are you? done with you. Hmm. Well, I suppose next time we'll figure out where that battery goes.